and the brand is the Twinkle Tea Stamping Polishes. Now, Twinkle Tea have sent me all these polishes at various stages. I've had them sat there. I've used the black. I don't think I've used any other than the black yet. Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee and this week I'm doing something a little bit different because I haven't done a video like this for quite a long time and that is I'm going to be doing some swatches for you of a brand and give you my opinions on them because the brand don't actually know I'm doing this, it's not sponsored, I just have all of their collection of polishes, I'm hearing amazing things about it and the brand is the Twinkle Tea Stamping Polishes and how cute are those bottles? Now Twinkle Tea have sent me all these polishes at various stages, I've had them sat there, I've used the black, I don't think I've used any other than the black yet so I thought do you know what I'm seeing loads of pictures done with them online I'm going to do like a live swatching and it's live to me because I haven't played with any of them before I'll be doing my usual using black and white nail pups so you can see how well these stamp over both a light color and a dark color to see the opacity because that normally is a really good test and you will find out what they're like as I find out what they're like except I'll have edited it and then uploaded it and done thumbnails which take forever and then do all the description but other than that you're going to find out as I find out. To help me with the test I'm going to be using one of my favourite plates which is DP03 from Dixie Plates. I love this one. It's a beautiful plate to use, it's all lace designs but it's also really good to test stamping polishes because there's big areas which you can see well then over black and white and there's also really fine detailing. So I'm going to give this a go, there's 18 polishes let's see what they're like because these nail pop rings don't fit properly on the tops of the bottles but i want to have them there to be able to look at afterwards i'm going to just put them around one of my smaller magpie jar bottle things just because it holds them in place and makes it a little bit easier i've got my favorite stamper i've got my lint roller for cleaning the stamper i've got my favorite scraper which is actually from another brand i think i've got a twinkle tea one somewhere do we have any preference on what colors we're going to start with i think we'll start with the new collection which is the metallic they did have originally i think the first gold that came out was so extra and now they've just brought out friend zone now you can see the difference i actually prefer i think the friend zone it's a bit more of um a classy gold metallic whereas the so extra is a really nice bright yellowy orange metallic as per usual i normally start by just applying a couple of layers of the gold scrape and pick up wow i'm just gonna get a close-up here I want you to see that lace design. Now, I actually haven't used, like I said, any of these other than the black, I think. I might have used the white, I can't remember, but I didn't want to overplay with them too much because I, I thought I might do a review video on them. And also, I need to reorganise my shelves for them to go on and I have no space at the moment. Let's just stamp straight on. This isn't as easy as I hoped. Wow. Ignore the damage down the bottom because that's me and my useless stamping. I think I'm going to hold them in place to do this. But let's just get a close-up right on that. Look at that, fantastic. I'm going to pop that on the top of the bottle for now. I'll probably top coat these at the end, but for now I just want to get them all together to have a, a, a decent idea of what they're like. I'm going to clean my stamper and I'm not going to clean my plate until I've covered it because there's so many polishes here, it'll probably take a while. Okay, for direct comparison next, I'm going to do friend zone. The only thing I'll say about these, I've had to write on the bottom of them all the name when I took them out the box because the boxes have the names on but the bottles don't which you know it's a small thing but it would be handy when you get them if you're having the whole lot so you know which ones they are to actually write on the bottom of them like I have I just used a fine sharpie to do it so this is the new metallic gold that's picked up really really well and you're gonna have to excuse my dry hands I am suffering so badly with this cold weather at the moment Pop that straight in. Oh, look. I'm relieved, it has to be said. Deciding to do a video on a brand that you haven't really played with and you want to give an honest review and you like the brand, but you don't know what the products are definitely like because you haven't tried them out. But look, that's so good. I'll just give you a direct comparison of the two golds next to each other. So we've got Friend Zone and So Extra. And actually, So Extra looks so nice when it's actually stamped with. Next in the metallic, we have Clickbait. I love this colour. It's so beautiful. It's like this amazing metallic blue. And it reminds me a lot of Aruba Blue from Essie, which I don't know if you remember my double-sided Manny with the diamonds underneath and Aruba Blue on top. I'll put a link in the top corner for you in case you've not watched it. But I love that colour so much. There we go. Well, this is a lot paler than I was expecting. Oh, 
actually that's surprising ah <gasps> look see i always cover myself whenever i stamp i'm actually really surprised when that went on to the stamper i didn't think it was going to be showing up at all on the black but it's stunning it's like peacock why is it's like a soft color on the white that comes out really well it's not as bold as the gold but it's not a lemon or a turkey okay next i really love this one it's like a minty sort of tiffany green metallic this one is fangirl that's picked up really beautifully i've lost some definition in the lace there but i haven't here so that shows it's the way i've scraped not the polish I'm going to stamp straight on holy moly would you look at that I've got so many nail ideas going through my head now with that one. Next, we're going to do Queen Bee, which when I first wrote it underneath, I did it like B as in Beyonce, but it's actually B like a bumblebee. And this is a super metallic lilac. Look at that sparkle. Wow. That is so pretty. I love some sparkle. Not that you can tell from looking at my room or anything. <gasps> I love it! I'm getting more and more covered here, but look at that lilac. Just brought my lights a bit closer because I don't like to have them too close when I'm stamping, just because they reflect off the stamping plates and it annoys me. But look at that. Stunning. Next we have Low Key, which is like their silver. It looks good in the bottle. Sometimes you can tell in the bottle and this does look good. Actually, for fairness, I am going to use the same design, I think. And I will show you something that they sent me, which is this. And I had no idea what it was when I got it. And I was too embarrassed to ask. And then I saw a picture online and I realized straight away what it was. Get a cotton bud, dip it in acetone, and then you can clean your plate without getting your hands super mucky. It's ingenious. Love it. Okay, low key silver. It's nice and thick, that one. So that tends to give you an idea you're going to have a good opacity. Not always the case, but quite often it is. Perfect. I'm just going to stamp again straight onto that one. These have got such good coverage. Look at that of the black. You can't see anything. This one is Swerve. I like this. It's like a, a deep metallic red. That looks like it's got very good coverage. And let's see what it's like for stamping. I'm trying not to get it on my fingers. Instead, I'm making a complete hash of it. So it's not the most bold on red, but it still shows up. That would make a really nice black and red lace design. I don't like these nail pops to work on. I've run out of the other ones and I don't know if you've seen my other video that I'm trying to reduce down my plastic waste and I had these already in my cupboard. Let's get on to the colours. I love this one. Golds. Oh yes. Feeling the love for that colour. Trying to do it without getting it all over me and it's not working. Wow, that's good. Look at that. That is so nice. Oh, that would be so nice for like the summer colours coming up. Some bright pinks, some purples, blue and a bit of yellow with it. That would be gorgeous. And in fact, there's so many colours here you could mix on the stamper. I've got this gorgeous blue called Fraye. Is there a way you say that? It's like Fraye! Now, I don't know if I'm expecting it here, but that looks slightly less opaque when applying. But we'll soon see. Can't really sh There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow, okay, I completely take that back. There was me thinking it looked a bit semi-opaque going on. No, it is well and truly, completely and utterly opaque. Look at that. That's fantastic. I really, really thought when I put that on the plate then and scraped it, I really thought it was going to be a bit wishy-washy is the only way to describe it. And in fact, it's fantastic. Next, we have Can't Even. This is such a nice pink. That is gorgeous. That is so nice. Why haven't I been using these sooner, you numpty nut? Why did I leave them sat there in the basket? These are fantastic. Ignore the line. That's me struggling to stamp on these pops and not doing it properly. But that is so good. 
and it's almost neon. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's almost like this pussy neon. So I just stepped out my office for a second because the kids are home from school and I wanted to say hi to them. And when I've walked back in, the thing I've noticed, I can only just smell the smell of some stamping polishes. The better they are, the more they smell. There's one brand in particular I'm not going to mention, but it was particularly stinky and used to make your head feel a bit funny. These don't smell, which is really good. So I've got no filter, quite literally. And this one's like a neon green. I am really chuffed with these. It's making me think about lots of designs I want to give a go to and play with. Look at that, that is a fantastic green. And it is a neon green. I don't know if it's coming up on camera as a neon green because quite often it's quite hard to capture neons on camera for some reason. I'm gonna give this yellow one a go now. And this one is Subtweet. I do like the names. It's so hard in this industry to keep coming up with new and inventive names for stuff because it's all been done. Now that's showing up on my camera as neon where the way I describe it is like, I don't know if you can see on camera, sunshine yellow. I'm going to do it a little differently, which doesn't work well on camera, but it works well for stamping. I say you see a slight amount of the black coming through on that side, but hardly anything. It just changes the tone of it. It's like, oh, is it one of those optical illusions? Maybe it's not changing the tone of the colour. Maybe my eye is being tricked to thinking it's changing the tone of the colour. Let's go for the nice red. And this is lit. I love it when I do something like this and it just, it makes you happy when you find products that do what they say they do. No. Yeah, do what they say they do. I'm a bit sad by this one. Love it. Love it over the white. You can't really see it over the, we can see it over the black. Not as much as I'd like to see, you know, like I'd rec like it to be a really bold red over the black. Let's try this one because I haven't seen a stamping polish in my collection like this and it's icy, which is a metallic white. I really like that. Look at the cute little unicorn girl. Look, that's so pretty. I am thinking proms, I'm thinking weddings, I'm thinking communions and christenings and gorgeous, elegant, pretty nails. That more than exceeds my expectations. Look at the perfection on that. Oh my word, I think I need to use that for a design. Okay, I have four colours left. I'm going to show you the black. I know how well this black stamps because I use it, but I'm going to show you it. Look how beautifully that goes on. It goes on like silk. Look at that. Perfection. Absolute perfection. And you can see it won't matter over the black here because obviously it's black on black, but over the white, Look how strong and bold and clean that is. You know, sometimes people just want to start out with a black because you can color in black designs with your nail polishes. I would highly recommend the Twinkle Tea Black. It is fantastic. I'm going to try the white. Seeing as we've done the black, let's try the white. Brilliant. That is fantastic. Look at that. That is so crisp and so sharp. Two colors left. We have this gorgeous warmy orange yellow called Saucy. Sort of reminds me of the McDonald's cheese sauce. And then we have Bothered, which I'm gonna to keep to last because I love that pink. It's kind of ironic. I love the really bright colors, but I never have the courage to wear them. This looks like it has a good coverage too. I've just gone over on the black slightly. That's what the discoloring is here. So that's me, not the polish. I just went over onto where I'd applied the black when I scraped. Another wonderful coverage. Look at that. That's like complete perfection right over the black and the white. There's no variation in the color. That's really, really good. Okay, final one. And then I will give you a rundown of all of them together so you can see them. I'll probably top coat them actually first as well because I know you guys like to see them top coated. And this is the one I've kept till last. And this is Bothered. Yay, this looks really good. You can see I'm feeling quite confident with these polishes now because I'm not even like hesitantly looking at them first. I'm just plonking them straight over. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I need to do some amazing brightly colored stamp nails. I need to. Look at that. Bothered. Am I bothered? Do I look bothered to use my face bottom and I'm bothered? If you don't know what that is, then you've not seen the show. Search out Catherine Tate. And here is the full collection. I do have to say that normally I point out my absolute favorites, but I have so many here, I really do. The so many colors that as I've been swatching them, I've been like, wow, these are amazing. I judged lit a little bit too quickly. I want to show you what happened when I top coated. And that is, once I top coated lit, it showed up a lot better on the black. And so it's much more poppy now. And I didn't give it a chance with that. You can see there, look how good that is. It really came into its own once I applied the top coat. And this is why it's kind of important to not judge some of these polishes 
until you've applied your top coat. And the only other one which I said didn't show up that much but looked nice over the black was Clickbait. And just to show you that one with the top coat on as well. And you can see it, this one really needs to be over a darker colour. Over a lighter colour, it's very, very pale. So there is the full collection. I hope this has been a help for you. I know what it's like where you get so many products recommended to you by different people and different YouTubers and it's hard to know when you're parting with your money if it's worth it. Well these, I don't know how much they are to buy in the UK, I'll have to check but I know on the Twinkle Tea website they're six dollars. In my opinion they are well worth the six dollars and there are ten mils in every bottle and they've got such pretty little covers, unicorns and everything on them, they're so pretty. More important than pretty they're really, really good. I'm looking at them on my viewfinder because it's like this beautiful bright rainbow next to me. Let me know if there's any products you'd like me to check out that you've seen and you're not sure about or any brands. These sort of videos are helpful for me because quite often I have so much products out on my shelf I don't get to have a go of new stuff when I'm sent it and it takes a while to have a play and if you fancy becoming a Natasha Lee VIP with behind the scenes access and reward tiers then head on over to natashalee.vip where there's all the information there for you to sign up. In the meantime thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've not yet subscribed and you like what you've seen then please head on over to the subscribe button and click it. And next to that subscribe icon is a teeny tiny teeny tiny little bell. Teeny one. And if you click that it will let you... Wish you... Alexa, I didn't ask you to... Oh no, Alexa off. Honestly she's taken over my life. I was in a really important meeting the day. I'm just going to tell you this before I go. I was in a really important meeting the other day at home. Really important hadn't commanded or anything. I was making refreshments for the meeting with the person there for the meeting and Alexa turns around, off. Can't even say her name. You don't have any smart home devices to get started. Go to the smart home section. Alexa, the off. Alexa. And she turns around, say she because she's in the corner, and while I'm talking to this person, all businessy, she turns around and she goes, I'm sorry, I can't find Wet Willy. So yeah, she's listening. I, I think there was someone there on the other side of her going, this sounds like an important meeting. This sounds really important. Let's have some fun. So to you, I say, you also have to listen to all my boring conversations. So you suck. Anyway, enough of the conspiracy theories because that's a whole different channel. If you have any ideas for any videos, please leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I do read them all. I try to reply to all. I reply to almost all of the nice ones because love breeds love and I don't like hate, basically. Not anything personal, but there's enough negativity in the world. In the meantime, thank you so much, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon.